Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. And once we've found the arrow, this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well. Any noise yet? About the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which men? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I'll sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? Erke has been a great help. Why doubt him now? Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you couldn't shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It's not good to attach yourself to any one person. Be your own man. Forge your own path. I should. I know. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Be gone. You reek of someplace else. I have a bow and a body ready to serve the arrow. So why turn away the sharpest eye in Britain? <laughs> I haven't come this far trusting any old sellsword on the street. How do I know you are some rat looking to sink our ship? I would never. A common friend sent me. Did he now? And what's our common friend's name? It was Egbert of East Anglia. Yeah, right. Be gone before I kick your teeth in. Wrong answer. I need to find another way to get the coin. Some of these men have pocketed their coin already. But which? Ignore your purses, lads. And there we go. Hmm. This coin is engraved with an image of the London Colosseum. your business? Shooting or watching? You're looking for skilled archers, and now you've found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let's begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's the new competitor, a Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayer. All right, take your mark. Hook set, arrows not fire. Deadly aim you have. Best 
I've seen for some time. Well shot. You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Pull yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us, and he'll know it's you. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves. He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse. You'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fail me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you'd like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lyndon as a kiln of rage to harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition, greed, anger. From one man, such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it's a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true, and it's cold comfort when glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgas gone, I'll turn my attention to the leech. Erkish should be down at the keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we'll let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga. <laughs> 